Hello you, Reza is here, welcome. In this tutorial we'll talk about snap. Snapping a component means to move it relative to another component in the 3D world. Right now I have three components in the screen. The one that I want to move is the scan. I also have here a visual components box and also a cylinder block. Let's go first to these two guys. So under home tab, there is the tools group and there is the snap button. I want to move around the can. Let's go to snap then. And we have the mode on one point. And you can see also the snap type is edge and face. So we can go around on this component, which is the box and choose where the location should be. So now we are distinguishing edges and faces both. But we could be also just having edges, so we can move this can to any location we want on an edge. And then it could be also just finding about faces. But it's not going to distinguish edges, because it's not chosen in the option. Then there is also center. So it will be centering the can automatically while we go on the surface. We could also actually choose edge and face and then hold down the shift key. So now I'm holding down the shift key so it will send it automatically to the center of that face. Let's release the shift key and then let's go to well frames. There is no frame created right now over here. But if you create a frame, which is a feature on the modeling tab, then you are able to also to snap the can to the frame. And then origin, which means that we can snap the can to the origin of the component, which in this case was the box. Let's click on snap tool again. So we could choose, for example, from the settings to just go for setting the position let's see what happens so you can see now the orientation is not changing we are just choosing like spots or locations based on the edge and face diagnosis and that's about that but we could also have setting the orientation so you can see that the location is not changing but the orientation is changing of course that's what we asked for right and then the align axis, which when you are setting the location, it will be aligned based on that specific axis. Here is based on the Z axis of that surface. And of course there is bound, so it will just choose the bounding around that component and then move our can to there. In next step, let me just maybe cancel snap tool and go to move manipulation mode. Let me grab this torus here that is on the can. So this is also kind of working like snapping. And then if I just hold down the shift key, again the same story. Shift key sends it to the middle of the face. And I release both shift key and the left mouse button to release the component there. So you can see that when it's a face that we are moving around, it's in green shadows or green borders with a multiple in the middle. That's basically the center of the face. And then if you go to the edges, it shows them with blue. This is like the center of the edge. And that's like the place that three corners meet. So now let's go back. I would like to take our can to this engine block. So right now over here, what I would do is to just press the escape button to unselect everything. And then let's hold down the shift. So you see that the frame disappears. We are still in the move mode. Remember that. Then I would just hold down the shift, 
go to the edges of the can, you can see that already some kind of snap function is activated, it's chosen. And then I would just take it and then maybe just take it to any location that I would want. So it goes based on the edges and faces as well. It's just now just setting the position without checking the orientation as you see. But what we can do is to just release it somewhere. And that's about that. In the next step, let's activate the snap. And then let's just hold down the shift key. So we can choose the center of the faces. Here, if I hold down the shift and I just go around edges of this circle of the piston place, you can see that it is aligned there, just like that. Let's activate the snap again. Here I would go, let's say that I want to put the component in the center of these four holes over here. I would just go to three point and then choose this point and then this point and then this point. So we'll have basically this can right in the middle of a circle that passes through this center of the holes that I chose. So if I just choose the orthographic mode, which is actually already chosen, so we'll have that very obvious. Let's deactivate the orthographic mode. And then what we can do is to choose a snap again, and then I would go to two point. Let's place this can in between these two circles so this point and this point so that's how you can place the can right in between them in the next step let's do some other magic with the snap so at this point let's just clone this engine block so i would choose it and press on this clone button and then one thing i could do is to just for example maybe rotate it and then what i could do is to give it some odd rotation something that is not so common and then let's go to the other cylinder so let's say we want to put these two cylinders back to back. What I need to do right now is to choose this point while I hold down the shift key. Then what I would do is to, the first one chooses the position. Now orientation one is to just choose over here. And then the orientation two is to just choose at this point and then the other engine block. That is how. So using the shift key, you could easily choose two objects and snap them with one position and two orientation. And in case you wanted to snap them manually or just match them manually next to each other, it was going to be quite tough, I would say. Something else we could do with the snap tool is to use it for the robot tool center points. Let's go to visual components folder and then to robot tools. I would maybe take this parametric suction gripper. Let's bring in one. And of course we need a robot as well. So I'm going to click on robots folder and bring in the generic articulated robot. Let's attach the tool. And in case we go to program tab and we go to choose the robot and then choose tool one, you can see that right now the tool center point is over here. But if I click the gear button and then the snap tool, Okay, that's like on two points, so I'm just going to click on one point, 
and then the snap tool. So now we have set the tool center point right in the middle of the tool on that suction cup. And in the last step, what I would do is to bring in a robot workpiece positioner as an example. And then show that we can also use the snap tool while modeling a component. So if I just go to modeling tab and choose, for example, this plateau, let's send it away. You can see the main frame of this plateau was the origin of our workpiece positioner. So when I choose the snap in this point, I should have the origin chosen over here and then one point snapping and then just choose the workpiece positioner and click. So the geometry is snapped back automatically to the place where it should be. Okay, hope you enjoyed the tutorial and learned basics about the snap. Feel free to try it by yourself and have a good one. Bye for now.